today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with another spin my wheel and if you don't know what that is I'm going to spin a little wheel on my phone and the wheel is going to show me which palette I'm going to use and then we will see what I will do with that palette. So I have almost all of my palettes, not all all but almost all. So. We will just spin and I'm always a bit nervous when I do this and there is some palettes that I'm not going to take like palettes I had in my palette of the month, palettes I already have in, have had in this series and so on but we will just spin and see. Always so nervous. Cauldrain Queen of Hearts. It was such a long time since I used this. Okay, so here is the palette and I love like this packaging but the palette is black and this was the first thing I tried from Cauldrain. Palette looks like this. I think it's so freaking big. And not that many shades. So we will now spin and see what I will do. I have another wheel for that. So just let's spin. And this is maybe more nervous than the other wheel. I don't know. Two different eyes. Yes, I love to do that. So that means that I'm going to do two different eye looks and this is maybe not the most fun palette to do that with if I'm going to be honest and I have like can I even get two fun looks with this okay so I will prime my eyes take out some brushes swatch a little bit because I, right now I have no idea what I want to do so yeah I will do that Let's try to do this and I think I will do two shimmery eyes because I'm so into shimmers right now and I think I will only use one matte or maybe two mattes. I will start with this princess on this eye and it was such a long time ago since I used this palette and that makes me a little bit happy that I got this because I want with my spin the wheel series to use palettes that I haven't used that much and I don't think I ever have used this when my channel has been in English I know that I did a first impression on this but I think it was in Swedish I can't remember but I think okay so like that and then I want to go in with Empress this orange matte on this eye I don't know how this is in color I guess we just have to wait and see I have the vivid pigments I think they're called the vivid pigments from Colored Rain as well and they are really good and I I think they do really nice things but it's not like I buy anything from them but they are coming out with a new palette now or new I don't know if it's only an eyeshadow palette or if it is other products as well that is called Yuzi maybe I don't know it's not that easy to get a hold on colored rain in Sweden actually there is some on beauty bay but it's not everything it you can order from the US I did it with the vivid pigments but shipping and everything yeah okay I go in with that princess a little bit more on this side I thought that I wanted to deepen down my crease but I think it works like this Okay, so on this eye, I want to go in with. This was 
card. I think with these two, so a really dark shimmer and a purple shimmer. And then this side, go in with these two, this Noble Woman. It's an amazing color. So I will start with this eye and take the throne. I hope it works with a little bit of fluffier brush. And take like half of my lid with this. Okay, maybe I should have deepened down my crease. Oh dear. But I can remember these are like smudgeable. A smudgeable shimmer, if you get what I mean with that, and yes, it is, this works, kind of works. So I go in with the princess again, and swoop it a little bit here. Okay, maybe this, this didn't work. They didn't want this as on a such a li light, on such a big part of my eye, but it's done, it's done, I guess. It's a really nice color though. But now I'm going with Queen Mother, the purple shimmer, and take it in here. I don't know if I ever used this shade. Okay, maybe this wasn't such a big difference between these shades. But I like... want to keep this pretty like cold tone. And like a little bit deeper and darker because I wanted so much of a difference that I could get. Like I think this looks kind of good. And I am like all stuck with using shimmers now. I don't know why. Now it like feels like nothing is complete without a shimmer. And I don't know what happened with me. I actually think I am happy with the eyes like with the eye like this and now it's a new fly in here. I think it looks good. And they blended out amazing and like into each other and now I need to sneeze. Okay, so let's go into this and take Noble Woman and Your Majesty. So it's these two shades. Okay. Prepare yourself. When I was sitting here and decided what I wanted to do, I was like, I want to take Noble Woman on both of my eyes. But that was not the deal, yo. And I think it's fun. So far I have gotten different things with all my spin the wheels. I think this is my third. So in the first one I got all the shades in the palette. And I got the modern, modern renaissance, modern renaissance from Anastasia. It's 14 shades. I did it though, but <laughs> that was nothing that I thought was fun. I didn't like it at all. And do you see this shade? And then I did with Tribe from US Place and then I got only mattes. I really like that look. Okay, now I go in with Your Majesty. In here. And oh. I think it is a little bit sad with colored rain because it feels like a lot of people have the vivid pigments. Vivid brights, I think they're called vivid pigments. And they are only mattes, but as you see, they do really good shimmer shades as well okay i think this i think i like this look and this was what i wanted i wanted like a more brighter warmer eye and then a cold tone like darker eye so this is exactly what i wanted the only thing it feels like this 
your majesty isn't as like creamy and smooth as the other shimmers but I really like this so I will <laughs> take away the fallouts it feels like I have like a lot a lot of fallouts especially on this eye so I will take full take away the fallouts fix my base and my brows and then I will keep it the same underneath my eyes maybe go in with a matte we will see but keep it like kind of the same so I keep them really separated those eyes both eyes those eyes so yeah i will fix that and then i come back okay so for my under eyes i will take the exact same shades that i had on my little nima crease so i will start with the two matte ones and smoke them out and then go in and then go in and then now we're talking swedish again and then go in with the two shimmers i have so i will just fix this And tap it off. Okay. <laughs> brain fart, brain fart, doing two different eyes. Abort, abort, abort. Almost went in with the purple one on this eye as well. It's the orange one. And then I actually think that like this dark one and this red one that I can take them without any glitter glue, no, any setting spray. And at least try, so I go in with the brush and tap it off and then this works. And now I have cat hair. Okay, now I will finish up the look. So take something in my waterline, put on mascara, try to choose a lippy. I might go with a dark red. I don't know. <laughs> you will just have to wait and see. Okay, so the finished look is this one. And for my <laughs> waterline, on this eye I used Overboard from Colourpop. On this eye I used... Altar Flash from Nina Holberg. For my lips, I used Unspoken from NYX. No, Nabla. Love this one. And I actually really, really like this look. I think it turned out better than like I expected it to be. So for this eye, I used Queen Mother, Dethrone, and Princess. And for this one, I used Empress. Noble Woman and Your Majesty and I <laughs> I think this palette is really good. I thought like Your Majesty was a little bit like drier than the other shimmers but at the same time my palette is pretty old but it works like so so good. I actually don't know why I don't use this more because it is a really good palette and yeah, the only thing I don't like, and it feels like it is after that with Color Rain. Like, this is only 12 pan palette, but I think it's so freaking huge. And I like mirrors in my palettes, <laughs> but in this palette, the mirror is so, so small. But yeah, I really like this look. This is definitely my favorite eye, but I like that it's two completely different but I don't think it looks like weird and yeah I am really happy with this look with this look with this look and I'm really happy that it was this palette because as I said I don't use it much like at all and maybe I should start to do that and I don't know if this is still available <laughs> because I with these series like spin the wheel I just want to use the palettes I have and 
I often think that you can like recreate things that you have in your own collection and maybe some of you have this palette and it's like me that you haven't used it much. I don't know. So that's like the thought behind the series, not like you should have this palette, this exact palette. It's not that. This is like more for me. <laughs> Just hope that you enjoy it. So yeah, that was all with the Queen of Hearts palette from Colored Rain. I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!